Hi everyone, it's Donna from Little Spaceman Paper Crafts and I'm back with a tutorial today featuring some of the products um, that I received from my latest design team package from bbcraft.com um, The links for everything that you will need will be in the description bar below and um, yeah, so this month I um, decided to, because I had no lace in my stash Okay, so I thought, well, what else can I do with it? So I came up with this lace, um, I don't know what you'd call it, rosette charm, I guess. Um, and it's just using some of the lace and then I've got some beads on the end and it's just using some um, elastic that I have in my stash. Um so this is the elastic that I have um, I have got a white one but for the life of me I cannot find it because I was going to do um, a light colour one but I think I might have to do the purple because as I say I can only find the black elastic at the moment so I, I actually I really quite like the way this turned out this, I think this would be really nice on the front of a journal or something like that so um, I'm going to show you how I made it so um, so yeah, this is the lace that you get and you get, I think it's um, 15 or 20, I can't remember, um, metres, so it's one metre of each colour. Um, so I'll use the black on the first one um, and as I said, I'm going to use the purple on this one. So the last one, I cut myself a length that was about 11 inches um so i think i'm going to just go for the 12 inches i'm just measuring down here on my mat um just off camera there you can't see so i'm just going to make oh i'm so sorry i've just knocked the tripod so i'm going to put this one away so basically all i did was I got a length of elastic and I've got um, this like darning needle um, I got these from Amazon and um, they're all different sizes but this one had a wider eye and um, I was hoping for a thinner um, point but we went with this one in the end so basically you just Put the elastic through the needle and then pick an end doesn't really matter which one and then decide if you're going to do it top or bottom and then just um, thread the elastic pushing it through the lace and pull it through Make sure you leave a tail on the end and then just keep threading it through. There's no rhyme or reason I haven't measured anything. Um, I'm just pushing it through the lace and then pulling through the elastic and then just the last bit. I hope this camera is not too shaky. I'm actually using my phone, but I've got one of those camera arm things. Um, so I'm hoping it's not shaking too much because um, it's clipped to the desk. Okay, so once you've got that threaded, take your needle off. I've obviously used way too much elastic. That's okay. And then Because you've got both ends, this end actually just came out, so I'm going to have to thread this end through and push it through again at the end. There we go. So basically you just get the two ends and you bunch up your elastic like so. Okay, then you just tie it in a knot in the centre 
and then trim that away. And then, because it doesn't actually meet there, so again, get your needle and another piece of elastic. And this is where we um, create the elastic pieces for our dangle. So just make sure you've got two ends. Take your needle off and again just tie that in a knot. I'm using way too much elastic here <laughs> but we'll trim it off anyway. Okay so that is your little um, rosette. So then what I like to do just to make sure to keep it um, secure in the centre and to make it look pretty I've got some of these little um, flowers from my stash. They were sent to me um, in some happy mail a while ago. So I think that one looks cute there. So I'll just grab my hot glue gun. And then just put some hot glue on. And just stick that down in the middle. And then that way everything gets kept together and you have a nice center for your rosette. Okay, so um, I've got a selection of uh, different beads and things here. These are the ones that I actually got from BB Craft, so I'm going to use these. So basically all you do, because the end of the elastic is quite thin, it should um, go through without too much of a problem. So let's see let's get this purple one that looks really cute and we'll thread that on and then a clear one and oh this multicolor one looks gorgeous so see they go on no problem whatsoever so then pull your elastic quite tight and then make your knot Obviously, nowhere near the beads, Donna. I need to pull it a bit tighter <laughs> than I just did to get it near the beads to stop it from, obviously, the beads from falling out. And you need, obviously, need a big enough knot to stop that. So then we'll just snip that one off the bottom and then we'll just do another one on this end so these colors are absolutely stunning so I'll, I'll just do the reverse of what we did so I'll put a multicolored one on then a clear one and then a purple one this one so they thread on so easily on this elastic it's brilliant so again just tie it in a knot and then you'll probably need to double knot it And then trim that off at the bottom. And then there you have your really cute little rosette charm. I really like that little rosette embellishment with your lace. I'll bring in the black one I did. And there you go. It's just something a bit different to do with lace, I think. Um, I just wanted to, you know, think about something different to do. So I really, really like how these turned out. I definitely think 12, inch, um, 12 inches of ribbon 
obviously if you want to make smaller ones you would just shorten the length of the ribbon so thank you so much guys for watching all the links for the ribbon and these little sparkle gems will be in the description below along with the link to bbcrafts.com um and thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think in the comments because these might not be everyone's cup of tea but i just really quite like them i think they're nice and simple quick and easy to make um without many supplies really so thanks again for watching guys and um i hope you join me back with another video very soon bye for now